And we're back in the time loop. Now we're at uh, Daytona Road Course with very not great looking weather, but it's not raining, so that's all that really matters to me. Um, second time using the Daytona Road Course, or Roval as it's usually called. I know, it's the third time. I forgot about uh, episode like four where Blossom massively cheated. <clears throat> In this episode, it's Metacog, accompanied by absolutely no one. Um, there's seriously no one else here. I don't know why Metacog did that. He has GT4s in tow, but we don't know anyone driving those either. Okay, my LCD does not like the stripes on that Mercedes. Where's sunrise over there? Gee, your sun yeah, sunrise, 7 a.m. That you really can't see though, because it's, you know, overcast as all heck. Okay, we are three wide, this is fine. Not really, I don't enjoy this. Yeah, around the outside doesn't work. <laughs> Not here. Not, not for me anyway, it doesn't. Okay, you don't have to break for that, just so you're aware. Okay, I was already on low. Exhausted most of my commentary in the last two episodes. Um, not much to talk about. I'm already getting kind of ahead of the opponents. Um, goodness knows that one Mercedes is probably going to stick there for a while, as Mercedes, especially, tend to like to do. Regardless of what I try to do to get them off. Yeah, the Mercedes top speed is annoying. And on a track like Daytona, uh, yeah, also very helpful. Especially when I can't make the first corner. Oh, now you don't break? I'm being obstructed significantly. Your cornering is bad. And see you later. Even if I stay in a slipstream, I'm not going to even stay close to him unless I nail the bus stop, as I've heard you up here. Which wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't take it too well, but even still, we're going to get to 170 before we break. Oh yeah, I nailed it, but he was actually so bad that he cut me off just by existing. <laughs> I heard like a rock or something get kicked up. I heard like a clicking noise in the background. I don't know if like that was, I think that was the game. Couldn't have been really anything else. Based on me hearing it through the earbuds. Yeah, this is fine. Not really. This is actually kind of a pain in the behind. And where's this brake bias at? 62. That's probably why it doesn't dig in rain.
Oh, we're not making that. It seemed like exactly where I braked before, and suddenly that sign in the car is just like, nope, see you later. And hopefully I have the top speed advantage over these cars, especially in their draft. I should. I suppose that might have been, or that might be an example of why the brake bias is so hard, so much to the front already. Because it still does that when you hit the brakes wrong anyway. The advantage is ever so slight. Actually wasn't trying to get into him at all. Not yet, anyway. And bye. Man, that. SLS, or no, that's just an AMG, it's just, that is repulsive. You could pay me enough to drive that paint job. God, get it off of my screen, please, I cannot even look at it. That's not enough steering, right? Here. But it doesn't matter. Well, that's a fast lap. Probably oh, slipstream. Um, hello? <clears throat> Stupid Z4s. Well, that went well. Minus the fact the Z4 jump scared me. Because it kind of got, like, tunnel vision trying to get around that other car. My god, I am on his tailpipe. I'm not doing this. Not here. This is not going to work. All right, just take your time, Porsche. It's fine. There's the clacking noise. It really sounds like something's like kicking up a rock and it's like hitting me in the face or grill or what have you. This is probably not going to end that well. Luckily, the AI are chicken on the brakes. Compared to what I can do, anyway. Alright, nine minutes into the race. The leader is not totally out of sight yet.
One thing to factor too, since GT4 cars are in the race, I think, potentially, we might end up having to lap them. Which is actually potentially good, because I can maybe, um, based on my timing, I can attempt to use a GT4 car to pick off the leader. Or, worst case scenario, I get stuck behind a GT4 car and the guy in third picks me off instead. That is the law of equivalent exchange. I'm just like the all-seen eye on the top of this car. It's not. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but... I know that Deutsche Post there is just like a German mail company, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of weird because it's on the... You know, it's on... that sponsors a British car, and it's a German mail thing. I might be totally wrong. I'm obviously not in Europe, so I, it could be, like, you know, a newspaper company, for all I know. It might not even be from Germany. Alright, just short of 11 minutes. It's now... sun is now going down. God, the shadows moving around just looks silly. You know, due to the whole time progression thing. I felt the car want to slip away, so I was just like, alright, let's stop braking a moment. Oh, big miss. Didn't slam into anything, most importantly. Headlight time. Headlights time. the way in here. <clears throat> One or two good more laps put together and I'll be on his tailpipe again. <clears throat> Throat, please. Now is not the time to want to die. And if I had the brake bias, like, any lower, <clears throat> I'd have definitely spun there. I just hit all of that curb. The curbs at Daytona are relatively nice. You can mount pretty much all of them and not have too many repercussions. But the track is also wide enough to where you don't always necessarily have to hit them in the first place. Unlike the previous track, which the track is only just about wide enough for two cars to be next to each other. Daytona has enough width in some places for four. If NASCAR is any indication. Notice some slight engine damage. The more damage you get, the faster it piles up. Well, so I had to start shifting earlier to keep the revs lower. That's the best way to save the engine condition from where I sit. That was a very, uh, maybe less honorable bus stop section, but, you know, 
no corner cutting penalties. There are in this game, I just don't have them on. Same thing actually technically goes for a subtle Corsa, but again, there's no point in having those on when it's just the AI racing. There definitely aren't corner cutting penalties in like World Race. Word, word, word Race, yes. It's Hot Wheels mixed with Scrabble. What am I talking about? Um. Distance between him and I is just under two seconds now. And we are indeed going to be lapping some GT4s. Turned in just a little sharp there. Need another, like, pin-perfect bus stop for this one. I say another, like, the last one was any good at all, but... No, well, that one was quite good. I'll get to him, but his top speed's gonna get him back away from me. By the start-finish line, pretty much. So I'll we'll have to do something a little bit chancy in the, uh... The infield section. But the only way I can clear the Mercedes, given his superior straight line speed. And all of it comes at a price. All that top speed, law of averages means you shouldn't have very good handling. Exhibit A. We are approaching the first of the GT4s. That field is very spread out compared to GT3. It's KTM Crossbow GT4 up there. What the heck? Oh, you think you could dive it from there? Well, this isn't the best place to encounter the crossbow. He's just gonna move out of the way, I think. Yeah, he stays on the high line. So as not to interfere with, you know, the leader. Blue flags, as they're usually called. And things like F1. Ultimate bus stop technique. I mean, yeah, I'm leading for now. And goodbye. Those get back down there. Hopefully the next GT4 uh, is encountered at a more opportune moment, which it looks like it should be. Yeah, we're not going to get him on the front straight, so it's going to be in a corner somewhere. That one looks like it might be, that would be a Janetta. I startled the Mercedes. All right, I don't need a lane. Okay, are you trying to die? It's like lap one over again, I'm trying to go on the outside. All right, all right, wanna pick a lane there, genius? Oh, we've collided. We had a lane out there, so... None of that really matters. Because, uh, here we go again. Straight away time. You can barely make out the Janetta headlights in the distance. Heck, they're in the rear view.
I don't like where this is go. Ta-da! Oh, that looks like fun back there with all those headlights. They're all having to try and negotiate that GT4 while they're in the bus stop chicane. Doesn't look like my doesn't seem like my kind of fun right there. I am about to die. I remain the leader for the moment. <laughs> Next we have an Aston Martin to deal with. And he's apparently panicking. He's trying to give us way too much spit. Mm -mm. Okay, you wanna maybe not park in the middle of the road unless you do it on that Mercedes. Yes. <laughs> Create distance for me, squire. Oh, he created some. Alright, well, next GT4, I'm definitely going to be catching in something of a bizarre location. It won't be in the bus stop, it'll be just after, I think. But I'll be passing him. Mustang. Yeah, I'll be like just after. I like this. Oh, crap. Yeah, and that's why you don't go too low. Um, as you can see, it doesn't go well. Now I gotta re-overtake this Aston Martin in a very awkward place. They, they're, they're like, shaking. I'm quivering in fear, I suppose. I'd be scared of this too. Look at this shit. There's four cars right here, and they have significantly faster vehicles than you have. And he's probably just going crazy trying to figure out how he's going to deal with it. So, uh, I can probably concede winning from that. Uh, that Mercedes is like an entire turn ahead. Okay. I missed that because my finger slipped off the brakes. I don't know how anyone can ever use bumper cams in racing games. Then you can kind of sit on it if you're good enough, like that. But it takes, like, steady nerves, and I don't really have those. Alright, back to the Mustang again. This time, let's not ride the apron. Just pass it like a normal person, Riker. See, we have chosen. <laughs> we'll have one more lap to go. Hello. I don't nothing to do about that. He is out of here. And I am not remembering how to brake, apparently. That hard? Apparently. We're gonna lap that GT4, and that'll be the last thing we catch, I think. 
Oh, we'll definitely lap it. I don't know. I'm not questioning that. I'm just saying, like, no, there's no way I catch that GT4. Those mm, they just entered the oval. Not even with two more laps would I be able to do that. This is I necessarily want to either. As the sun rises. Not again. Well, <laughs> regrettably, after, oh, hi Tyler, <laughs> ruin the moment, why don't you Tyler, after uh, an immense crash, uh, vehicle went end over end, uh, was absolutely demolished by a BMW because I uh, might have bounced off the wall wrong, I say might have, I definitely bounced off the wall badly. Um... You wouldn't think it possible, but, uh, Metacog fell apart. Badly. Um. Not entirely sure of whether or not. Hmm? Okay, yes. Uh. Regret to announce Metacog has been disabled in Velocity X terminology, as fitting as it can probably be. Um, not all of his parts have been recovered, and uh, one of the parts that hasn't been recovered is, well, part of the circuit board. And part of that, cir and that circuit board, what that does, is that allows him to, like, think so in other words, in human terms, uh, like blunt trauma by concussion. No one is around to help this poor robot. Uh, the uh, safety crew at Daytona, as you know, as bold as they are, they can only do so much. He started the series, he won the first race of the series, and he won the first, and he and was the player and entered the first race of Time Loop. But uh, he will be the first to fall of the Time Loop characters. How long until any of the other University or Drivers finds out? Well, um, not very long. Gearhead already knows. Gearhead has a bit of a radar system. Apparently Gearhead knew that Metacog was trying to go on his own to try and work on his car a little bit. Attempt He was attempting to find Carbon. He's instead found his uh, untimely grave. get a couple <clears throat> alternative views of this crash. Yeah, end over end twice, and uh, for better or worse, the, uh, the Z4 is mostly okay with that. Um, this grill is banged up, but obviously that's not what the concern is. As we have lost the first of the Hot Wheels characters in the series, 